Okay, so I decided to make some painted papers, um, magazine, and just uh, cover it a little bit in gesso just to give it a little bit of tooth. Now I'm trying to find out what colors to use, and I have this like leftover paint, like you know when you get to the bottom of the tube, and it comes out, but you get really low on it, and it and it's just. coming out okay so here's what I do and I'm sure everybody else does this too maybe but just in case you don't all right what you do is get you some of this doesn't have to be golden but I like it acrylic glazing liquid and it's used to extend the working time of acrylic paints useful for creating glazes and increasing the flow level leveling and blendability of all golden acrylic colors and also craft smart 50 cents or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit in. You can always start low because this determines the thickness of your paint too. But since I'm just doing a low coat, what did I put in there? Maybe a teaspoon, tablespoon? Oh, it's going to make this much more thin, you know, transparent. But I don't mind that because I'm doing painted papers and I'm going to layer over it and I like some of the text coming through. So then you shake it up real good. I'm going to make sure I don't... Okay. Let's see if that works. Yep. There you go. Okay. Now you see that's not really that thin. So I probably could... Oop, got some extra paint there. I probably could go a little thinner for what I'm using it for. And make it go. You know how you take your Dawn detergent and you add water at the bottom when you have them into the store? That's why you need to get the better, you know, the Dawn detergent. The better stuff. Well, this is the better stuff right here. So it's going to extend it, thin it out a little bit so it makes it transparent or translucent, I guess. The right word. Oh, yeah, it's pouring out of there now. Okay, so that's my quick tip for today. See ya.